three, two, one. We're looking up there. Hey guys, how you doing? It's Chris. And we are here for another batch. Yay! Starting us out this batch, we're going with the viewer's choice. If you've been on our page in our community for the Barcada. For the Barcada. Barcada. I love that word. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for all the love, all the subscribers, um, the yes. attention. It's been amazing. Uh, we want to keep this going. We're definitely doing our uh, big sub milestone live stream soon, uh, hopefully very soon. We just have to kind of work out, you know, when it's going to be. But we definitely want to do that soon. Mm -hmm. uh, so when we do that, we're going to do a lot more songs on there. But for now, we're going to start with the viewer's choice. And the viewer's choice was overwhelmingly Lackland by Easy Mill. And this is about his time at Lackland Air Force Base? That is correct. He joined the Air Force. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about this song other than this is a song about his experience. Mm -hmm. um, it could be that he thought he had to do this because he came here to the States uh, when he was like 17 or so, obviously for immigration rules, mm -hmm. if you're over a certain age, you can't come. Because um, I know cousins that have had the same thing. So, uh, he tried to join the military. Mm -hmm. So this is really more about that story and how he fared. In that. Do you know anything about I, his time? Well, I like, know that he's not in the Air Force now. Well, <laughs> obvs. Uh, <laughs> I'm just curious of like when he, how old he was when he joined, and how long did he stay in? What was his job like? I almost went to the Air Force. You did. Well, I ha I come from a military background, mm -hmm. and I honestly just didn't want to do boot camp. Yeah, I don't want somebody telling me to work out. Mm -mm. I don't like doing it on my own. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's just not for me. But. Yeah, I considered doing the uh, officer candidate school for yeah. Navy because yeah. uh, my dad is uh, is Navy, 26 years in, so um, retired. Yeah. More than 20 years retired. So uh, I thought that maybe I was going to be going that route, but I didn't. Uh, so basically it's more a matter of, uh, yeah, I, I thought about it. Uh, my brother-in-law is, uh, I, I guess he's retired from the Navy as well. He's a corpsman. Uh, you know, shouts out to Alan. Thanks for your service, bro. Uh, going to Iraq twice. Uh, a lot of our soldiers, they put their lives on the line for a lot of things. So, um, yeah, we, we salute all you guys. Absolutely. And thank you, Easy, for serving our country, mm -hmm. especially being from the Philippines. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. Thank like you. There, there is video. I saw video out on the Facebook out uh, on the Facebook. On, wow. On, on the, no, the, I'm saying the Facebook group. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you were like, you know, showing a little age there. No, no, <laughs> On no. the Facebook. On These the, kids in the Facebook. On the tweeters. The tweeters. No, on the on the Facebook group for the Easy Millions official. Uh, shouts out to you guys and shouts out to the Easy Mealers, uh, to the Royals, to everybody who's uh, out on Facebook who are fans of Easy Meal. Yes. Shouts out to you guys. I know I, I sometimes put it in the, uh, the text cards, but... We're, we're shouting you guys out for real, so appreciate the love and support. Keep it coming. Yes. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna kick into Lackland as the viewer's choice. My dad was stationed at Lackland as well, too. I don't so even know where Lackland is. Where's I want to. I can't remember if it's California or Florida. I'm I'm guessing it's California. I think it's Cal it's California. I'm horrible. Yeah, because I grew up in in Florida most. Yeah, you would know part. the bases. So, yeah. I, yeah. I don't think Lackland's in Florida. I think no, it's, it's California. Yeah, definitely California. Okay. So yeah, this is Lackland, and we will check it out. I'm excited. We were listening to Gigi Delana for our uh, we were to kind of like up, so. smooth transition. I know, right? This is a hip hop song. Yeah. So, shouts out to Gigi Delana. You cute girl. You cute girl. You do this thing. I don't know what that means, but if anyone can tell me what that mm -hmm. means, I don't know. Here we go. What's up, y'all? It's been two months already. I tell y'all all about it. Yeah. Yeah. Look. 
Slowly past the days that I counted before I got in And I already had the tickets to the bus that I'd hop in And never consider my own self if I would've tried stopping I taste the bitter with no health, I got my mind locked in A uh, little world where I'm a good boy, never was a sinner Imagine my own self struggling, hunting a buck for dinner Running away and sobbing and so a bullet pierces its skin uh, Administer killers through voluntary systems, wonder who's sicker uh, Me or the man who slayed the shame and paved the way For my generation to pledge and march in days of rain Not even the slightest clue on how to take away the pain And I couldn't seize up these thoughts on my way to basic training I went in with good intentions, most didn't believe me They need to see me, yeah My good friends wish me luck even though they don't want me leaving I guess it's even Compared to them, is this to better myself Cause I just be rapping, it's always happening the more I think about it, they must be sitting back home and laughing While I'm in Lackland, yeah Finally set foot chilling up in the airport, uh Saw the cats there sitting, we joining the Air Force, uh And that was the grave I'm digging, but it was my dare choice, uh Will we be end up killing a couple of scared boys, uh That might have been not the real case, but it definitely crossed through my thoughts The T.I.'s expectations level to making us follow like bots Storm out for one, three, twenty seconds where we filled up our slots A few days in and some already wanna tie their necks up in knots But that was the nature they cultivated They make it way too insane for those who think it's a game one in truth it really is You just gotta know how to mentally play it I should never say it But motherfucker reporting statement I went in with good intentions Most didn't believe me They need to see me Yeah My good friends wish me luck Even though they don't want me leaving I guess it's even Compared to them is this the better myself Cause I just be rapping It's always happening The more I think about it They must be sitting back home and laughing while I'm in Lackland The day came when we had to get our neurotic shots So Interesting vibe so far It's in Texas God, I knew that Basic training is in Texas Okay, so it's in Texas <laughs> Yes, and I should know that My brother went there and my sister-in-law Yes Okay So Lackland is in Texas Yes I'm getting the vibe from this that maybe he didn't want to go, but he's doing it because he thinks he needs to prove a point. Mm -hmm. Based on the lyrics he was saying about how his friends were just kind of giving him, giving him shit and mm -hmm. whatnot, and he's really digging into the experience of first getting there, what happens when he first gets there, um, the attitude of the other cadets that are there with him. I don't know, I just get that vibe that he's questioning that did he really make the right choice into going here. Nothing so far has really surprised me because of friends I've talked to, my family. Mm -hmm. And I mean, seeing the guys in the airports waiting to get transferred out, um, especially like in Georgia, you always see a huge group of like army guys that are new cadets and getting... That's Fort Benning though, right? Yes. So it's 82nd Airborne. Not that there's a big difference between the two, but those guys jump out of planes. Well, no... Not all of them. That's true. They I have guess different. Not. They have different jobs. But anyways, just that vibe. Like, I'm wondering what they're thinking. Like, yeah. they're in their uniforms. They're ready to go. But they've never done any of this before. So it's really cool that he like. I could totally see that. Mm -hmm. Them. Them. Oh going yeah, it's painting this. such a vivid picture. Yeah. So I'm gonna run it back quick second, just because I'm. I really like the beat. It's very Me simple. Too. Erotic shots. Just stay bumping back home and laughing while I'm in Lackland. The day came when we had to get our neurotic shots To stabilize all our systems, but man, it was too much And the side effects on the wall said one was pox But I didn't care, I knew I was in favor with the odds Psych, a few days later, woken up up on my bed, bro Just got so sick that I was feeling hella dead, bro Went to read and can't believe it, what they said, though That I was going home, they sending me to med, ho That was the place that I actually spent a month in The atmosphere was chill, you could slack and no one's fronting But the thing that got to me was the fact They gave us privileges at The cost of cleaning the crap Out of latrines And then limit us to cutoffs and back To confiscation like that Just straight up felt like we cat The booster surge is for us Who got some birthdays they passed Like no one's business was happening To the shit like no cat Can't understand it 
But that's just the side of me that's really pissed and wants to hate it The truth is I understood that my body couldn't take it Maybe the brightest side is now that I'm back home in Vegas But to those who believe, I'm sorry, yo, I didn't make it I went in with good intentions, most didn't believe me They need to see me, yeah My good friends wish me luck even though they don't want me leaving I guess it's even Compared to them, is this the better myself? Cause I just be rapping. It's always happening. The more I think about it, they must be sitting back home and laughing while I'm in Lackland. Hey, shout out to my 322nd boys, man. Burgess, Davis, and the ones I came with from Vegas. Thompson, Weatherspoon, Sadri. Hope y'all doing good. It was all my metal old boys like Del Toro Alpha 6. Y'all, I told y'all I'll make this song about fucking BMT and all the metal and shit, but it's all good, you know. You just gotta play how sketch, eh? <laughs> huh. So he didn't finish boot camp. No, he got sick. That's crazy. That's interesting. That is crazy. I just wanna look up his Air Force career. That is crazy. Yeah, so the, uh, and I didn't, I was talking and I, I forgot I didn't finish the story. So out on the Facebook group, there's a video, I'm guessing from when he had his swearing in ceremony. Oh. It's a boot camp. That's such a, I don't know, I've just seen it done. It's a beautiful moment. Yeah, yeah, it is. And so to see that, you can just see, I mean, obviously, there's a look of pride on his face. Absolutely. But at the same time, there's like a look of... This is uh, real. This is real. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to see it kind of play out that it's like... He didn't make it. Mm-hmm. That's it, kind of crazy. It's interesting. I mean, Air Force, all the ranks, I mean, all the branches kind of uh, talk crap about each other. But... um Air Force is supposedly one of the easiest ones, the easiest boot camps. That's what, what that's what I've heard. That's what I've heard, too. So, and it's only six months, and then you go to tech school, I believe. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm wrong, correct me. Um, so, yeah, I'm like, damn, was it, is it really that bad that, I mean, they're shooting people up with stuff? And Well, I, I from what I can tell, I think this is part of the battery of tests that you have to take regardless, mm. because I think... If they're going to deploy you right away or if it's you're going to be you're going to be sent somewhere they want to make sure that uh that you have the proper immunizations that that's true with that said i don't know how long after he got here from the philippines that he decided to join because it could be that he just had to get all those medications mm -hmm. uh, okay. because he didn't have them so whatever the the coction that he had there that, that makes they injected sense. him with he just, his body just didn't jive with it. So. He sound, he doesn't sound, I mean, it seemed like maybe he would have been relieved at that point, but at the same time, not. Can you imagine easy in the Air Force not rapping? No. <laughs> I mean, maybe he was rapping in his spare time, but would we have the easy that we have had he been able to continue his military career? No, I mean, obviously this is the happy accident, right? Yeah. This is like, so... And he said he was going to make the song. No one believed him. Maybe there's a parallel there between what he's doing now and his journey. Mm -hmm. And how something stopped him then, but nothing is stopping him now. Yeah, yeah. You know? It's beautiful. Um, props to Easy for going for it, though. I mean... Yeah, you got to shoot your shot, man. I mean, regardless of how... You decide to do that. I mean, obviously, there are people who join our military every day who put their bodies on the line and, and are, you know, giving that commitment to service. So we, we salute you all. Um, after we watched, uh, you know, we just watched SB19's MAPA, you know, you just got to know what that map is. And you got to be willing to take the journey, regardless of where you're going to be ending up on the map. That, look at you. Look at you. And it's fun in this, right? too. That was good. <laughs> That was good. Don't, don't cry. Good segue. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, I don't want to cry. I was hard not to cry. I, I was feeling it coming up and everything. But yeah, but yeah you know, I like I like the theme of this song because it's, it's, it's something that I think a lot of people need to hear because you hear a lot of stories that just don't make it. Mm -hmm. Or you hear a lot of like 
really positive stories, like, mm -hmm. you know, of how you overcome. But what do you do in something like this where you think you're... It's out of your control. It's out of your control. Yeah. And it's a good lesson in you can't control everything that happens right. to you. So focus on what you can control. I tell this to I'll tell this to Jenny all the time. Um, there's a lot of things in life I can't control. So what I worry about are the things I can control. And that's that's my that's that's my advice for you all today. That's you, my PSA. <laughs> that's Chris in a nutshell. However, there is a lot of people that can't function like that, although they try. No, I know. However, that is a good message, and when you are having one of those days, at least you know keep that in the back of your mind. Yeah, they're they're only thing they're only things that you can control. Mm -hmm. So focus on those things, and and try and be better, try and be positive. You know, uh, I was watching uh, another YouTuber; uh, they've been around forever, but she talks about building a ladder, and you want to make sure that you know you're never break you you're always trying to build a ladder to keep building get absolutely. higher and higher absolutely because it's easy to just kind of be sit around and be overwhelmed by everything around you mm -hmm. and feeling like you're lost and in despair and nothing is gonna is going to happen um, but if you build a ladder with intention to come out of the hole you're in then that's all you really need to do so. absolutely and sometimes it's easier said than done and all right so that was Lackland Thank you guys so much for voting for it. The other choices uh, in the viewer's choice, just for anybody who didn't vote, uh, Emma Watson by AJ Raphael, one of my favorite songs of all time. Uh, tu Ma Be, which was by Lady Masta, an all-girl group from the Philippines. Ooh, that I'm was, for yeah, that it was. Yeah, it, they were in the FFP. They they performed in the FFP uh, concert for Easy Mail. Oh. Uh, yeah, they were they were a bright spot for me. I really enjoyed them. Um, and then I think the I'm other sure one was, uh, I want to say the other, other one was, a was a Morissette song. <laughs> well, anyway. You know about Mari. I know. But you know, we had to come through with the easy mill, celebrate. Congrats, brother. And thank you for trying. I know. And what's interesting is he's, I know this is, this is kind of out of context. So, um, he signed the deal. He's going to be on the Wish bus on May 20th. Whenever you see this, it probably has already happened. Um, there's some people with some words right now. Yeah? Uh, yeah, because he's all of his songs up to this point was kind of anti-establishment. Yeah, yeah, You know, yeah. being independent and all uh -huh. that. And he went and signed this deal. And people are not feeling... Or people are split. People are like, he's got to do what he's got to do to put keep money on this. Building that ladder. Building that ladder. Mm -hmm. Or there are people, there are people are like, you know... This is exactly what you were talking about. And Freeze is going to talk about it. So I'm curious to see what he says. I mean, it's pre-recorded. So obviously, the, what, what can he say? Um, it's been pre-recorded for more than a couple months now, now that I think about it. Oh. So oh. anyway, um, yeah, keep supporting Easy Mill. Um, he is going places. He is. And I'll probably put, I, in the B-roll, I probably put the comment where he commented on, on my last Kuya chat, where he just thanked me, he thanked Tori D for the support. You know, Easy, we're here for you, bro. I can die now. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. I he didn't more. quite shout you out. Uh, no. But. He said your homie Tori. I know, but I'm sorry. He, he, he didn't say my homie Oh, Tori. well, yeah. Okay, Easy. I'll take it, though. <laughs> he didn't say the Boricua and the Filipinas. I'm thirsty, Tori. but, you know, Queen I'll of be my patient. Barcada, Tori. <laughs> I'll be patient. Sounds good. We'll keep, we'll keep it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Yay!